It was another bad day for Wisconsin in the fight against COVID-19. There were 60 new deaths, more than 7,500 new cases, and more than 260 new hospitalizations. A state now nearing 300,000 cases. Each night, we rattle off a lot of these numbers and statistics, but we wanted to add some context to those numbers to illustrate the impact of COVID-19 in Wisconsin. Tonight, Madeline O'Neill helps put things in perspective. As Wisconsin nears 300,000 total COVID-19 cases, let's use a place most of us won't be for a while for some perspective. That's enough cases to fill Camp Randall more than three times. A lot of cases have recovered. The 2,500 deaths, there's no going back. That means more people than could fit in an average section at Camp Randall, gone. I see something terrible happening right now. We're seeing an exponential growth that worries UW-Madison experts like assistant professor Ajay Sethi. There's no sign that it's coming down. You are basically doubling, tripling, quadrupling. It's not only new daily cases in the state, but hospitalizations. A key figure professor Ogus Alagos is keeping an eye on. Look at all Wisconsin. We were 342 September 18, and now we have 2,000. We don't have a good intuition about these kinds of numbers. UW-Madison professor John Yin gave me an example to make sense of the exponential growth we see with the pandemic. We'll take you back to math class, starting with one penny. With linear growth, you get a penny a day. After 28 days, you'll end up with 28 pennies. With exponential growth, you start with one penny and double that every day. After 28 days, you end up with more than I can show you. I had to work it out on my calculator to say, well, $1.3 million. Unless we make some major change or unless there is the vaccine, we won't be able to turn the tide. Still, stopping the spread is in our hands. The counterintuitive things like very fast or explosive growth can be countered by things like uh, distancing or uh, mask wearing. Sethi says the most important thing we can do is give the pandemic a face. Any spread of COVID that occurs over Thanksgiving is inevitably going to cause somebody to miss Christmas. In Madison, Madeline O'Neill, News 3 Now. Experts say a vaccine could really slow spread down, but in the meantime, now is the most critical time to take precautions.